So this fitness game is an interesting one to say the least. There are loads of secret programs that have the secret formula to getting you shredded as fuck or an ass that won't quit. But in reality, the answer lies within you. Only you determine the results you acquire. Now, I hope this cliche mantra I just stated has not forced you to deter your attention to something that is less obvious, but it's only necessary I state this fact so that we clear the air for those who may have not known this. Moving on, depending on your current vantage point or the algorithm that suggests what content is best for your viewership on YouTubes, Googles, Facebooks, Instagrams, or whichever social media you use will determine the content you will be subjected to and hence probably have a strong influence on what you know. Too much? I know. I'm just trying to set a strong foundation here. All right, I'll tone it down and I'll get to the damn point already. It's abundantly clear humans live in a society that is obsessed with vanity. If that's a lie, then explain this shit. That being said, going to the gym to simply look better is not necessarily the worst reason to go to the gym. It just may lead to short term acute results that will eventually fizzle out because birthday cake and brownies are delicious, damn it. This will lead to this yo-yo dieting lifestyle in regards to an individual's physique and performance inside and outside of the gym, which is okay if you enjoy being frustrated. See what happens when your squat, bench press, deadlift, overhead press, and upper body pulls suffer. Don't let this be you. So ultimately, there has to be a greater reason to train other than just wanting to look a little bit better. Of course, health will always play a major contributing factor in all of this. But as some of us may know already, you don't necessarily have to lift weights to be healthy. You just have to eat a fuck ton of plants, maybe walk an hour of day and ensure you don't have any type of extensive deficiencies that will lead to later health complications for the majority of the population at least. So I ask you once again, why do we lift weights? Because we fucking love it brother! No! He or she who lifts appreciates strength and the results that blossom from that hard work. It's the constant drive to want to improve that will keep you strong and looking better than you ever imagined if you adhere to some type of legitimate physical strength endeavor, assuming of course everything outside of the gym is kept in good order. I know it doesn't sound sexy, but it's the reality most fad diets are unwilling to tell you. But didn't you know this already? So what are you waiting for? Is there a new episode of Black Mirror you gotta catch up on? Yeah, there is. Oh, there is? Yeah. Well, go check that shit out. That show is so jacked up, but damn, it's good. I completely understand everyone has responsibilities they must adhere to that may have a higher priority than a strict training regimen. And I will say this, the actual training itself is not as hard as you may think it is small incremental steps will get you to the promised land of your wishes. Here's a series of steps to drive this point home. Your training regimen simply begins with allocating about an hour of dedicated time just for you every single day because you're special. Once you have found an hour in your day just for you, choose a physical activity of your liking and execute it. I recommend something you're comfortable with doing, something that you're very familiar with doing, such as like walking and listening to music or maybe like a podcast or the radio, maybe doing some bike riding, some leisurely bike riding, or maybe some swimming or whatever it is that you like to do, something super simple. 
just repeat this activity every single day. The reason why I say this is because this will ingrain a healthy habit that will pay dividends towards creating this habit for you in the long term. Once you've established this healthy habit of paying yourself every single day, slowly start to increase the stimulus. For example, going back to what I previously stated, instead of walking the same route every single day, maybe consider walking a different route or maybe walking a little bit longer or a little bit faster. Or if you're ready, if you're ready to take the plunge that is, why not just change it completely and consider weightlifting? You've already built this habit of doing something for yourself for an hour every single day, so why not build some muscle and benefit from all the positives weightlifting has to, has to offer for you? Instead of walking seven days a week, maybe consider a basic legitimate lifting program by going to the gym at least twice a week and then walking on the other days of the week. And if I may add, this is not just directed towards men. This is also directed towards women. Ladies, if anything, this is more directed towards ladies. Ladies, go lift some weights. You're gonna look awesome. It's just as important to recover and nourish your body with the nutrients it needs and sleeping as the training is itself. So to remedy this potential issue, ensure to eat a variety of plants, get plenty of rest when you can, I understand you're a busy individual, and be happy. Do the things you love to do because stress can potentially jack everything up. Sounds simple enough, right? Cool. Let's talk about some quick drawbacks and pitfalls so that we can cover our bases. This is probably one of the most common errors people make. People getting way in over their heads, they jump right into the gym, they feel overwhelmed and flustered, which eventually causes them to quit. And really, can you really blame yourself if a strong habitual foundation hasn't been set or ingrained within you? I mean, what else did you expect to happen, happen if habits have not been fundamentally rooted within you? You're gonna quit. Expecting results yesterday is something we wish we all had, right? Unfortunately, if we got everything we wanted the instant we wished it, then it wouldn't be worth much of anything now, would it? Our wants would be greatly depreciated and luckily enough for us, we live in a universe that requires we put some type of effort towards our wants so that we can reap the benefits of our hard work in the form of some type of gratification through a newfound respect which was created on the basis of your dedicated hard work. My friend, this takes patience and if you don't have this fundamental trait, then you're most likely going to quit which leads me to the last and final pitfall. It's your life. You're supposed to challenge yourself and it's okay if you struggle because it will only make you stronger once you persevere and believe me, you will. So embrace the challenges life gives you and turn them into lessons that will force you to grow and enjoy it. After all, it's a part of the process. It's a part of the journey, part of your journey. You're gonna fail on occasion and that's okay you're just a human being. That's all that means. So don't quit and stay consistent so that the habits you work so hard on can be cemented within you. That being said, let's make this year better than last year by instilling healthy habits you and the ones closest to you can benefit the most from. Which also, let me just add, Happy New Year. Um, I know I'm super late on this, but you know, life gets in the way. So let me know what you think, 
what changes you're going to make this year, if you so desire, in the comment sections down below. But in the meantime, if you could please do your boy a favor, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so I can keep you updated on the weekly. I'm the Natural Hawkster. I wanna thank you for watching and please stay tuned for the next one.